Hi, BookTube! My name is Sarah, and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I'm coming to you with a bit of a review video, I guess, for my uh, e-ink, color e-ink tablet. So, or color e-ink reader, I guess you'd want to call it. Um, so yeah, guys, I love this thing. I absolutely love this thing. So let me start off by saying I did not purchase this. This was gifted to me by one of you amazing people. Um, I just couldn't believe it because I was talking about getting one of the new Kobo colors uh, that had come out and I've seen reviews. I think Ollie did a review on one and I think MJ from Reading This Life did a review. Both of them seem to really love their devices, which is great. And they're very cool looking, like I really like them. But this, this, I got this about three weeks ago and I can tell you I haven't picked up one of my Kobos or Kindles since. This has become, as I jokingly refer to it, and I'm probably going to title the video this, one e-reader to rule them all. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything to me. And again, unbelievably grateful to the person who gifted it to me. So this is not going to be a tech video. For those of you who are stumbling across this, I'm not talking about specs. I'm not talking about capacity. I'm not talking about anything technical. This is a book channel. I'm going to talk about this for its reading capabilities. So if that's not what you're interested in, just as a fair warning at the beginning. But um, I will post a link below to the website so you can look at this model. It's um, it's an all note. It's all note. Oh God, I need my glasses. Uh, it's an AI note. Good Lord. And it is the product model number V6 color. Um, I got a serial number, Bluetooth, blah, 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 Android, vo Andrew, Android version 11. So this does run on Android. Um, and yeah, I have had so much fun with this. Now, this is, I, Ollie, I believe, reviewed a slightly bigger version of this one on his channel. Um, it was gifted to him by the company, um, which is <laughs> freaking awesome. Um, it's called the Big Me here in North America, and I don't know. Mine is actually the, like, uh, Chinese, Japanese, sorry, I apologize, version of it. Um, so some of these things on here originally were, like, in Japanese. So that was kind of interesting. Or no, Chinese. I apologize, Chinese. Um, so, yeah, but it is very, very cool. The best way that I can describe this device is that this is a tablet. This is an iPad. This is a Kindle Fire. This is all the things, but it's an e-ink display. So you're not getting the massive glare that you're getting from the Kindle. I've got my Kindle Fire in front of me so I can show you. So you're not getting that glare, that backlight glare. Now that's on the highest, right? But sometimes I turn it down. So you're not getting that that glare that like literally you could, you know, in the middle of the night, if it's sitting in your bed, it's going to like light up half the room. This still has a bit of a backlight to it. Don't get me wrong. There is a light there and you can turn that light up and down. Um, there are settings available to do so and they're actually very, very cool. So they're right here. So you could put it. I'm sorry for the noise. People on motorcycles. Yes, we know you have a big motorcycle. Good for you. Um, is that a euphemism for something else? <laughs> Are you compensating? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, so you got this area here and it says like lights out. So if I hit that button, it just, it makes it go darker. Did you see that? And then the one beside it says it's for daytime. So if we hit daytime, you can see the screen get brighter, right? So like these are predetermined settings. If you go night, it fades it just a little bit. I usually leave it on night all the time because I like the way that looks. And then bedding, it goes just a little bit darker for when you're sleep, like just before you go to bed, because you don't want it super bright if you are trying to go to sleep, right? So that's one cool thing. Um, now, as for the reading and why I say this is one e-reader to rule them all is because not only do I have books on my Kindle and my Kobo. I mean, I love my Kindle and my Kobo. I, I, I will... I've, I've said that I am probably going to get rid of most of them. Sorry, I just want to turn off my, uh, speaking of Kindles, I want to turn off my fire before it dies because I do use it for um, my cross stitch patterns. That's the one thing I don't use this for. But, I mean, I have books from, for my Kindle and Kobo, a lot for Kindle. But an uh, overwhelming amount of books that I actually own as ebooks are on the Harlequin app. And I have complained about that app since day one, the Glow app from Harlequin. The reason I complain about it is, is because you can only use it on an Android tablet. 
like this. And I dislike reading on a backlit screen like my Kindle Fire. I really don't like it. I spend all day staring at a computer screen and I know this debate has gone back and forth, but to me, I do notice a difference. My eyes get a lot more tired reading from this, reading off of this, as opposed to reading off an e-ink screen. So this now, I have the Glow Sap on there, guys. It's right there. So I can click on this and it's in color, which is super awesome. And there are all the covers in color. And I can go to my books and I can go to like this, for example, all of my books. And there's everything that I have. And it's in color. I mean, the color is like an added bonus. Like, to be honest, if this was in black and white, I think I'd still love it just as much. So, for example, let's just pick a book. So we're going to open up a book here, right? And we'll go read now. And this is the Glow Sap for those of you who have not seen it before. It does this like cool page turn animation as it's thinking. There's the cover. I can, you know, flip pages. But if you look at it now, okay, there's a, that's e-ink display. That's an e-ink display. That is not a bright as sin, um, you know, backlit. Let me try, do I have the glow sap on here too? So to show you the difference. I'm sure you guys are all aware of the difference, but I'm a visual person. So we'll open up the same book, resume reading. It's thinking. So do you see? the difference, right? Now, again, yes, I could turn the brightness down on this, but it's still not the same as reading off an ink. This is like reading off a piece of a, a piece of a paper, a piece of paper, in my opinion. Um, so, you know, and it, I can, up, I can change fonts. I can do it exactly as you would do as if this was on a tablet, as if this was on your iPad or your Kindle Fire or whatever else device, your, your Android tablet that you might use, your phone, your cell phone. So I've got that app on there. I have also got on there the Libby app. So if I'm reading an ebook from the library, I can borrow it from there. Now, here in Canada, you can transfer your Libby books um, to your Kobo device, which is great. But now I don't have to go through that hassle. I can just literally open them up there and read them. I have Hoopla on here as well, loves. Like, I, I just, I, this thing is amazing. I have, of course, the Kindle app right there that I can use. Um, bring that up just so you guys can see it. Um, uh, Kindle app, I have that on there. Um, I have the Kobo app on here as well. There it is right there. Uh, what else do I have on here? I did download the NetGalley app because I do have books from NetGalley. I have a complaint about NetGalley. NetGalley does not let you increase the font size and it is teeny, teeny, tiny. So I said, forget it. Now I just send everything to Kindle and I read it from there. Um, but really that's about all that I use this for, to be completely honest. I have had this for three weeks and I have not picked up a Kobo or Kindle since. I have picked up my Kindle Fire because again, I use it for cross stitch patterns, but I have not picked it up for reading. This is all that I have used for the last three weeks for reading and I am over the moon ecstatic with it. I love it. It, it really is for me, this is the e-reader. This is it. I could happily get rid of everything else that I have. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna sell some of them off. I am gonna keep the basic, not the Kindle basic. I like the Kindle Paperwhite. I'm going to keep the Paperwhite and I'm going to keep, I think, the Kobo Clara, but the rest of them I'm going to get rid of, um, sell, whatever. I haven't decided yet. And this will be my happy place. Like this is, this I can take everywhere and not worry that, oh crap, I bought the, I brought the wrong e-reader. Oh, I can't read that. I can't borrow an ebook from Hoopla because I don't want to read it on this. Now I can borrow ebooks from Hoopla. And do you guys have any idea how many category romance books are on Hoopla? It's crazy. There are a ton. I can also listen to audio on this if I wanted to. I don't, but I could. You could actually watch YouTube videos on this if you wanted to. Again, not recommended, but you could. Um, I do know that the price point on this one is out of a lot of people's reach and I understand it's out, you know, again, this was gifted <laughs> and I'm forever grateful. Um, and yeah, I just, 
I am so happy with this. I am so unbelievably happy with this. I have Emerand on here as well. Um, if I want to borrow an ebook from them, like this has just been absolutely amazing. And I know I've talked about this a lot in the last three weeks, but I did promise a full review. There are a couple of downsides. It is a little heavier. Just to let you guys know, it's a little bit heavier than your standard Kindle or Kobo or what have you. My other thing is, is because it is an Android tablet, it's kind of running a lot in the background and it's in color. The battery does tend to die a lot quicker than a paper white, for example. So what you need to remember to do when I learned this the hard way is that when you're not using it, make sure you turn it off, like shut it down, power it down or set it up in the in the settings to, if it's just on sleep mode, to shut off after 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want. Um, and that will save the battery power. Um, but yeah, I mean, the battery's not horrible, don't get me wrong. But if you're expecting something that's going to last you weeks and weeks, that's, that's not the case with this device. But again, for the pros, I will take that con because this is this is my new best friend. <laughs> this is my new favorite thing in the entire world. <laughs> Sorry, Garrett. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, no, honestly, honestly, this is just, this makes me unbelievably happy. Um, and for reading wise, it's great. Like, I, I mean, all of this I could do here on this $60, $80 Kindle um, Fire, 100%. 100% that is not a bad device and I'm not saying it is. But for those of you who are like me, who prefer to read off the e-ink display, this is what you want. You know, if you can, if you can swing it, this is what you want. Um, but like I said, I'll leave, I'll leave a link to their website below so you can at least check out all the things, um, and see what they have. But yeah, again, if this wasn't in color, I would still want it. The color is just really an added bonus, which is fantastic. So anyway, guys, I am rambling at this point. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, and uh, I will talk to you all in my next video. If you have any questions, please post them below and I will do my very best to answer them. Um, again, I'm not a tech person, so please don't be expecting techie answers. <laughs> but until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys.